welcome to this year's Halloween series. Things are going a little bit differently. We had some issues arise. We had some skeptics and they happened to back out last minute, but we do still have a guest and I will introduce them later on. We're getting like settling in, doing like some walkthroughs and stuff. We're gonna do this video a little bit differently than what we had currently planned to do, but we're still spending 48 hours inside of Pine Lawn Manor in the rehab center. It's gonna be a good time. And let's just hope we can get some good evidence for you guys. Happy Halloween. Hope you guys are doing all right. And let's get to it. Guys, it is 7.30 and nighttime is coming pretty quick. We have a special guest showing up. They won't be here for like another hour or so. So in the meantime, we decided we were going to go ahead and try and see if we can't recreate, or not recreate, but like have the same thing happen that happened to us the very first time we've ever came here, which was all the footsteps and sounds in this area around 7.30. And we've been hearing a lot of stuff while we were here. So while we're waiting, Let's see if we can't capture some of that stuff on camera. Are those kids outside? Hold on, I'm gonna go in here real quick. I guess I'm gonna go check too real quick. I don't think I've seen any of them out there. <clears throat> There's not any kids outside? No. I hope we got that on camera. What, what do you think you heard? I didn't hear nothing. You didn't hear nothing? Mm -mm. There is a lady walking her dog. Oh, yeah, no, it wasn't that. Crystal, did you hear any? Did you hear it? Yeah, I heard the kids. Yes. No, that's what I'm saying. You hear that? Yeah. We will also introduce her when the other special guest comes here. A short introduction real quick, that, that's Crystal. She's the one that makes the shirts. She does shirts and stuff like that. I will put her, uh, her name stuff like Facebook and whatnot in the description of these videos because she will be spending the full 48 hours here with us. The special guest is coming here in about an hour or so. He will unfortunately not be able to do the work stuff, not be able to stay the full 48 hours. But us three here, Mama and Crystal, she, or all of us, are spending the full 48 hours, 12 o'clock uh, on a Monday to 12 o'clock noon on a Wednesday. And this is her first time being here at Pine Lawn. She's already experienced some stuff, and it's not even nighttime yet. So it should be a pretty good, pretty good little time. Can you do that again, please? What was that? Did you hear that? Yeah, yeah that's what, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what it was. It sounds like it's coming from outside. What was that? That was right there. That camera should have picked it up. Yeah, I have uh, both directions. I'm recording on this mic 
mm-hmm. to the internal recording. Mm-hmm. That's why I snapped, so I'd be able to right. put it together. So every time I start and stop, either one, I'm gonna have to do the snap or the clap to be able to line the audio. Mm-hmm. But so over here, this should be picking up our voices, and then that I went ahead and put it on the front and back. Yeah. So it should be picking up from every direction. Right. I, I'm either tripping or I just heard, did you say something? Mm-mm. I didn't hear anything either. I, I'm hoping, surely if I'm not tripping, this mic had to have picked it up. What I heard right after I said that, it sounded like a female, like it sounded like your voice said, huh, nice. I said, right. Well, I heard that, but I heard another voice say, huh, nice. But it sounded like your voice. <laughs> I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna head next door real quick so I can get some stuff for this to be able to fix this little shadow stuff. And then uh, we'll either do a walk through over there real quick or we'll come back over here. But actually what we might do is set up one of the, one of the other cameras over here for an abandonment with like the uh, REM pod or whatever mm-hmm. to see what happens while we're over there. Yeah. That's what we'll do. So we'll see you guys here in a little bit. And we are back. We got the other camera. We are gonna set up to do a quiet abandonment while we are going Back and forth. All right, guys. So, got a cat ball and REM pod, 360 pod, and flashlight up here. I'm not sure why that 360 pod hasn't, it should calibrate a lot more. We'll wait this seven seconds. Okay, that should be calibrating. Okay, now it's calibrating. Was that me? Oh, that was not me. That's how close. Well, that's weird. That is weird. I thought it was you. Yeah. Well, I guess we'll see how that works. All right, so once again, cat ball, mini mag light, REM pod, 360 pod. We are going to leave these in here. Okay, now it's working. It is 810. We'll probably leave these in here until our special guest shows up. So in about 30 min- for about 30 minutes or so, and see what all happens. Once again, while we're not in here, if a lot of you guys are familiar with this place, you guys will remember that Pine Lawn likes abandonments. They also like to talk to you and whatnot, but they also like abandonments and playing with the equipment with no one around. But all right, we will be back. Spirits of Pine Lawn, if you want to show us that you are here, or just play with the equipment. We're gonna be next door. You guys are more than welcome to play with and mess with whatever you want that we have on the floor here or on the chair or the table. You guys know the deal. And we'll be back to talk to you guys later. Okay. See you guys over at the rehab center. All right, guys, so we are now doing a walkthrough through the rehab center while we are waiting on our special guest to arrive. He'll be here within 10, 20 minutes. So that gives us plenty of time to walk through here and show 
our first special guest, the one that will be here with us for the full 48 hours around in the nighttime and see what she thinks about it and see if we can't hear anything while we're lollygagging around. Ugh. Looks like Dookie. <laughs> it does look like Dookie. Probably is. Pooty poo. So our, uh, our second special guest is pulling up now and I'm going to hide because he's scared of his own shadow. I'm going to hide and scare the crap out of him. I'm sorry, homie. I had to do it. You were supposed to be doing this 48 hours with us. He's still out there. Jesus. I think he's getting an extra set of underwear. Come on, Essie. That's gonna shit out of me right there. <laughs> You're supposed to do it right in front of the camera. Oh, no. <laughs> You was walking fast as hell. Well, I was just talking to somebody. I was like, man, I'm about to try to scare Brandon in this motherfucker. That's funny because I had the same literally reaction when they said, or you said he's 10 minutes away. I was like, I'm going to wait. And when he comes around the corner, I heard him come in. I'm going to put this mask on and put the camera up. I'm going to hide. This looks pretty dope. Longest entrance ever. <laughs> For real, that. You turned around the corner six minutes ago. So we have the our second special guest that's going to be with us. How long are you going to be with us tonight? Uh, a couple for, hours or whatever? Yeah, a couple hours. A couple hours, hell yeah. He just started a job, so he can't, he couldn't spend the full 48 hours with us. Sadly. Yeah, he was going to, but this is Trey, Gustavo's, or Gustavo's Trejo Flores. Trey is. Yeah. Just call me Trey Gustavo. He does music. I'll put Mexican. links. 
Yeah. <laughs> the mighty Mexican of the world. The Lucho I'll, Latin. <laughs> I'll put uh, links to all the stuff in the description and whatnot. And uh, you guys get to know him throughout. You're going to show up sometime tomorrow, too? Or yeah, just I can come tomorrow, too. Bet, bet. Wait, wait, wait. If you can't, you can't. Maybe. But. I got to see if I have my kids yet. If I don't have my kids, I'll definitely be here at like 6. I just come at like 6. <laughs> Hell yeah. But all right, we're going to go show them uh, next door because that's, uh, that's a more spooky place. And we got some cameras up there doing some uh, stuff right now. I'm going to go check on them and whatnot and show them around and uh, see how scared he is of it. <laughs> yeah, so pretty much he asked uh, what all happened. So this right here, um, Sumner Care and Rehab Center, it was mainly for like an old folks home, you know what I'm saying? Like uh, they go through surgery or they have something wrong with them. Right here, right, right. <laughs> but anyways, they would have something wrong with them or just old in general, like old folks home. Okay. And uh, that's where they would go. So pretty much like any kind of retirement home, you know, it experiences death and stuff like that. This place here was, uh, let's go in right here. It looks fucking scary. It is, this this place is crazy. I'm about to get touched in my tank probably, right? Ah, oh, that'd, be, that'd be funny. <laughs> <laughs> but this place here was more or less for uh, people that uh, had really bad mental issues, not in the asylum, are we going off the trail a little bit? Yeah, we are. But, uh, do you know what Brian Manor and stuff like that does? Yeah. It's just like that place. That's how, what this place was. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So that's what this place here did. And uh, they got shut down due to lack of funding because they were always having abuse claims on them. <coughs> oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah, let me just go in this door here. Hmm. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead and die first. Yes, sir. Tell me what you're <laughs> this is all stuff that's been left here? Yeah. Damn, dude, this shit is crazy scary. Alright, so what we gonna do? I'm gonna leave that like that. I'm gonna turn this back on. <laughs> Have it recording down here just in case. I'm gonna turn the lights down a little bit. All right, here we go. Now we're gonna go down here to this corner. That's where. Uh, That's where the people. Yeah. All right. I'm. Whoa! How you doing, y'all? <laughs> Hold on. Let me see if I can turn this down a little bit. This shit looks crazy, bro. I'm gonna try to have a flashlight in here. Here, I got one. You do? <laughs> She's like, I got one. Damn. That's as bad as shit, bro. Ah, mine turned down, homie. Man, good thing this wasn't in some tray. It would have been already gutted. Yeah, it's pretty gutted already. You don't look like it. Oh, well, this looks like it. Hmm. You want to get in it? Hell no. See, that picture was fucking scary right there. That was just added. The owners put that in. I bet they did, motherfucking creepy fuckers. <laughs> 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 Look at this shit, too, man. Like, this is so neat. Like, if you would have told me this, I'd be like, this is this place, this old. She was fucking shocking people. <laughs> hey, walk in there. Hell no. I'll go in there with you. Come on. <laughs> you don't know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> This. Look at this shit. This is movie stuff, y'all, I tell you. And it's a real life place. It's crazy. <laughs> look at that. It still has poop stains and stuff in there. That's blood. Blood stains. Look like poop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like this shit crazy. Oh, this is crazy. This is all left here? No, this stuff was added too. Right, the bed is a, the bed is original to the place. Fucking scared me like that, bro. If this room was left like this for real, we didn't get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> that doll was haunted. That doll was haunted? Yeah. Mm. That one right there? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, and, and that one. No, they weren't left here, but that one I've seen its eyes move. That one's creepy. Is it? Oh, that's his phone. Have you ever looked in here? I bet you that I bet you that you should climb out of the bed and crawl in there. <laughs> I don't know. Is that still that, is that yeah, that was from here. I just he gonna follow. He's like, where y'all going? <laughs> yeah. We can go down here and sit down here real quick and uh, see if we can hear some. We, we, we might be able to get him to knock for you. Or whistle. We came in earlier and as soon as we walked in, like right after we found out that you were coming, we came over here real quick. And uh, as soon as we walked in, something whistled at us. They knew a real team that was about to walk in here. That's why, bro. Oh, uh, you're going to keep talking crazy, and they're going to show you what's up. No, I don't want to do that. We need to get all right. Hey, Ed. <laughs> if, you're, uh, if you're somewhere around here, I brought somebody that wants to experience some paranormal activity. Can you knock on one of the walls for me? I feel like it's going to happen. That's why I'm... You're taunting the motherfucker. He don't. Oh, I ain't taunting. Ed's cool. He's a jokester, too. Like me? Yes, sir. I can't even see you, baby. Look at that. Y'all see how scary that shit is? Crazy dude. I'll never say that shit, bro. <laughs> Ed, can you make any kind of noise for us if you're down here? Ed is a, uh, is a male nurse that worked here back in the day. And uh, he was walking out of that uh, the doorway right over there. Mm -hmm. And uh, he, he started feeling funny. So he came in here to where his office was because this was his hallway. And uh, he fell down as he was walking in the door because his heart gave out. And he passed away right inside that door. Damn, right there? Yep. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've gotten EVPs and stuff in here. And we've asked, like, who's in here with us? We'd hear, uh, we get EVPs of something saying, hi, I'm Ed. Died right there. Yep. Right. Right here. Like right here? he fell down like right in this area here. You got bells up here and shit too? Yes, sir. Bro, this shit was more scary up in here. He said that's what's scary. <laughs> bro, like, this looks like fucking some out of a guy's Halloween movie. Hey, you don't need to leave, bro. <laughs> For real, like this shit is crazy. <coughs> Mm -mm. So how scared are you of the paranormal, Trey? Not scared. You ain't scared? Not yet. Not yet? Are you lying? No, just don't leave me. Yeah, 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 <laughs> motherfucker. It's real easy. He said, I ain't scared of the paranormal, just don't leave me. Yeah, but don't leave me in this motherfucker. I don't blame you for real, though. When well, we get... I got a light, so I'll be half okay, but I'll probably jump out one of those windows. <laughs> jump out one of the windows when... <laughs> Damn, that light scared me for real. Like, bro, I forgot I had that. Off, I probably would have got lost, honestly. You know, I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Nah. Uh, Were these added to, or this was actually pictures? What was that? Did you hear that? Mm -hmm. It was like metal tinking. Yeah. I heard that back there the last time we was heading back up here from back there. Ooh, you hear that, Trey? What? You didn't hear that? Hmm. Did you guys hear that? Awesome. Yeah. Hold on, let's see if we can't get him to make some kind of noise for us here. Hey, uh, if any of you guys can hear me. Damn, that's an old pogo stick. <laughs> My friend Trey here. Wants to hear it. Yeah, he wants to experience some paranormal stuff. Can we hear some footsteps or some knocking or something? You hear that down there? No, the bugs are too loud. 
It sounds like something's walking down there. Trey, do you hear it? No, I don't want to hear that. You hear it? I do. Norma Jean, Marsha, Timmy. Yeah, I don't know what's up with these damn bugs. They've never been that loud. Mm -hmm. It sounds like it was coming from down here. I think what I might do mm -hmm. is come down here, shut this light off. Or since we're gonna be down here anyways now, yeah. go ahead and turn this camera mm -hmm. off. All right, now so we have even less lighting. All right, can we, uh, can we hear something now? Can you knock on something for us? Like this? What do you do, find a bug or something? I wish I knew where that cricket was. I'd go freaking squash it. Yeah, for real. <laughs> Holy cow. I can't hear nothing. Alright, so I'm about to stop filming for a couple minutes. I'm going to put the camera down just to test a theory. Because earlier... We came in here and we was hearing sounds left and right, but I wasn't re re or filming and I uh, didn't ha even have a camera in my hand. And it seemed like we were hearing stuff, but I am filming or I'm recording audio separately on this. So I'm recording audio through this and through the camera mic or the mic on the camera. So I'll keep this going so you guys can hear what we're doing for the time being just in case something happens, but I'm going to see if uh, we can manage to get anything when the camera is off. In worst case scenario, I will hurry up and start recording if something starts happening. You hear that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was like on this right here. Mm -hmm. Definitely heard the knock though. All right, so for double confirmation, can you knock on something again if you want us to go next door and come back a little bit later? Yeah, we're back there. I mean, it was I don't know if that, that almost sounded like a footstep though. Mm -hmm. Something. Yeah, but you notice they're starting to be like this when I put the camera down. Yeah. They used to not be like this. Mm -hmm. They used to not care if you had a camera in your hand or not. So since you're here and you just experienced that, would you say it's different watching it on TV versus experiencing it in real life? For sure. We shut the lights off real quick. Can you make a sound for us? It's pretty loud. Be oh my God. Hurt, dude, what the something like smacked the crap out of that wall. It's real. 